So I want to take a moment and talk about global variables in Python and how you can access them in a function in Python. This is something I never talked about in my earlier Python videos, but it's something I ran into again at work and I figured why not talk about it? it might be useful for someone else to see this and that's why I'm here. And if this sounds interesting to you, it's just me sharing things as I learn them or as I rediscover them in this case in different programming languages. Recently we've been working on Angular, but here I am back with Python and that's just the way it goes. Uh, you never know what's going to come out. But if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to hit subscribe. I think you'll enjoy uh, the experience, hopefully. And we're getting close to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Really do appreciate all of you that have subscribed thus far. And I can't wait to see where we are in, you know, six months from now and who knows how long. So, yeah, let's, let's talk about uh, Python. I got a... Well, I thought I had an instance of VS Code. What's going on here? I have this nice little Python file called test, and here's where I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration of how to access global variables in a Python function. So let's say I have this global variable called dog, and it's going to hold some dog name. Let me see if I can remember how to zoom in. There we go. This is going to hold some kind of dog name, and in our case, it's going to be called max that's what the variable is set to and so this is a global variable and a little bit farther down i have a function so i'm going to define a function i'm going to call it rename and all it's going to do is it's going to say dog is now going to be equal to um lucy okay and then we're going to run this rename function and then we're going to print the value of dog and so looking at this, you might be saying, um, okay, so we're running this function right here and it's renaming dog, it's setting dog equal to Lucy when dog was equal to max. So you might expect this to print out Lucy, right? So that seems like a pretty reasonable assumption that it's going to print out Lucy. But in fact, if we go ahead and run this pi test and we see it puts out max. And why is that? Well, because when we're setting dog, this is making a local variable only local to this function. That's the scope. And it's not any longer accessing this global dog variable. In fact, it's just creating its own separate variable inside of this function named dog and setting that equal to Lucy. So if we wanted to rename this dog variable in this function, this dog global variable, how would we go ahead and do that? So instead of making dog its own local variable to this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the global keyword in Python and say, uh, let's define dog here in this function as the global variable dog. So now dog is now pointing to this global variable. And when we set dog equal to Lucy, dog should be changed to Lucy. So we'll go ahead and save that, run this, and here you can see it now it's changed to Lucy because we're no longer making our own um, local variable in this function. We're now referencing this global variable outside of the function using the global keyword and defining it ahead of using it. And I guess maybe we'll do this one more time. We will print dog before running the rename function. So we'll do a before and after, I guess, and we'll run this and we'll run pi test and see that it goes from max to Lucy because now we're referencing the right variable in this function. So pretty quick video, but I thought uh, maybe if someone's stumbling along and wondering why in my definition is this not changing this global variable in Python, now you can uh, be familiar with this global keyword and be familiar with why it's doing that. So hopefully this helps you. Um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the future and take care.